Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is all going to be talking about the pros, the cons, and my experience with the food delivery company Splendid Spoon. So if that's what you're here for, then just keep watching. <laughs> Okay guys, so first a few quick disclaimers. I have tried two boxes from Splendid Spoon. One of them I paid for it myself. I spent $80 of my own hard earned money on it. The other box they did send me for free in exchange for review. They offered to send me a box. So I was like, yeah, I'll take it. However, as always, I'm gonna talk about the pros. I'm also gonna talk about the cons and things I didn't like about the service. The good thing is I do have an affiliate link um, which is down below. And I believe that does have a discount for you guys that will benefit you and it also benefits me. So it's a win-win all around. So first let's talk about what is this service even about? What is Splendid Spoon? So basically Splendid Spoon is a food delivery box subscription service that focuses on plant-based healthy food items. So everything when it is shipped, it is delivered in a box like this and everything is shipped fresh. So some other services like Daily Harvest ship things frozen. A splitted spoon on the other hand, everything is delivered fresh or more in like a refrigerated temperature. The box said to like beware of dry ice, but Personally, I didn't see any dry ice. I don't know if they were like out of dry ice or it's hidden somewhere in the box that I just didn't see it. Nonetheless, everything was still very cold. It was actually like borderline frozen. Like there were some like frozen chunks and stuff like in the smoothies, but yeah, that is basically how everything is delivered. So um, now let's talk about a few key elements of this service. So the first is the price. Now the price of this service, like a lot of these services, it's not, it's not cheap. The per item price depends on how, what plan you get. And basically the more items you get in a shipment, the less it's going to be per item. But for the middle plan that I got, it the normal price is $95 for 10 items. So it's going to be $9.50 per item. It's expensive, you guys, but it is, I think, reasonable for the competitors out there. It, the price is what it is, but again, I do have my referral link down below. So check that out if you wanna save some money. Now, of course, the most important part, let's talk about the taste and the food quality. And I'm gonna start with the smoothies. So the smoothies are pre-blended. So some other services like Daily Harvest, for example, they have like, they ship you just like the ingredients and you actually have to blend the smoothies yourself. The nice thing about Slended Spoon is everything is pre pre-blended, everything is ready to go in these plastic bottles. For the most part, I was actually pleasantly surprised by the smoothies. I don't really drink a lot of smoothies. I feel like the smoothies were actually surprisingly filling, like a lot of them, like I didn't even necessarily want to drink the whole thing because it was just like very filling and like more than I normally eat for like a breakfast. Also, the smoothies were all I would say for the most part, pretty tasty. Like there's no added sugar. I don't believe in any of the smoothies, but even the ones that I was not expecting to be sweet ends up being a more sweet than I was expecting. Now, if you're someone who's kind of nervous about getting like green smoothies and stuff because you don't think that they're gonna taste good, for the most part, all of the smoothies, I would say were pretty sweet. They were pretty tasty. The only thing that I didn't like about them is I feel like some of them had a bit of like a chalky aftertaste like once I was at the bottom of the bottle, it wasn't a huge problem. Like it definitely wouldn't have like prohibited me from like drinking these or like continuing to use this. But just something to keep in mind, there was like a little bit of a jockey aftertaste with a few of the smoothies. And then the other thing is just keep in mind with the smoothies that personally I didn't like, but I know other people do like, is they do have a little bit more like texture. Like there's, you can definitely taste like when there's cacao nibs, there'll be like little like, actual textured cacao nibs in there. I know a lot of people like sm super smooth smoothies and you don't necessarily want like chunkier smoothies. That's just a personal preference, but just keep that in mind. In terms of my favorite smoothies, I would say the favorite ones that I tried were the chocolate cherry smoothie and the mint chip. Both of these had like the little cacao nibs, which I thought were super tasty. That was my thoughts on the, the smoothies. However, for me, I think the real star of the show was were the bowls. I found the bowls were even better than the smoothies in my opinion. I pretty much liked all the bowls that I tried. My favorite was the Thai coconut and the aloo gobi. Personally, I don't like super like spicy things and I thought both of those were flavorful but not too spicy or like overpowering. So personally, I really liked those. I think 
My least favorite bowl was probably the Cuban black bean bowl. This one I gave like a six out of 10, but for the most part, I thought all of the bowls were really good. I think what really made the bowls especially good is they had a lot of different textures and different ingredients. Like it wasn't all like monotonous, like homogeneous bowl material. You had like chunks of nuts and plantains and it was, there was a lot of like different tasty textures and things like that. The bowls were also super easy to cook. Basically you could just pop them in the microwave between two and four minutes right in the container. They would heat up and they were super easy to make. And yeah, I think the bowls were, were super, super tasty. The only negative thing I thought about the bowls is they were kind of low calorie for a lunch or dinner. Most of them were, I would say right around like the 300 calorie mark. Some of them a little bit below, some a little bit above, but I think for like almost $10, you, you really, in my opinion, should be getting like at least like five or 600 calories. Um, like I'm not, that big of a person like I don't eat that much food but I use usually like to eat at least like five or six hundred calories for a lunch or dinner meal so yeah I do wish they were a bit heartier but they were super tasty so I really liked the bowls just a few other like negatives or like just a few things to kind of keep in mind I do wish they had a little bit more variety of of like breakfast items, especially. Like I would love to see if they had like maybe oat bowls or just something that you can eat with a spoon and not necessarily drink like a smoothie. And then the other thing is everything is packed in plastic. I know a lot of people are sensitive to that. Yeah, overall my thoughts of the service is I think it's, it's a premium service. It is a bit expensive, but for the most part, I think I was pleasantly surprised with the quality of the food. I thought everything for the most part was pretty tasty, especially for being plant-based and not having like preservatives and added sugar and all of that kind of stuff. I especially liked the bowls. I think I would definitely continue using the service, especially to get a week supply of the bowls. They were super convenient to eat for lunch. And yeah, that's my feelings about it. Camera just died and I don't feel like recharging it. So that's it. If you like videos like this and you want to hear more about food delivery services. I have so many videos on my channel about different food delivery services and I've tried a lot of them. So check out the different videos for more information and to get more comparisons of different services out there. And that's it. Bye guys.